Hey everybody, welcome back to Clutch Situation. We have not done lead tests on the channel in a while, so I thought it would be a good idea just to, you know, check out, continue to check out what is on the market. And many of you who watch the channel know that in addition to being a huge fan of the Pentel Sharp series, I am also a fan of Kokuyo mechanical pencils, and they have a lead line. And so I purchased a couple of packs of 0.9 millimeter lead in 2B. I usually test in 0.5, but I thought that we would test in 0.9. Um, and so we'll compare it just to the normal Pentel high polymer lead. Um, which, you know, there's nothing inherently wrong with, but the, the question is when a company decides to come up, come out with their own proprietary lead, what are the differences that are discernible, if any, between it and other leads? And <clears throat> just to be fair here, I think that to some extent we split hairs a little bit when we talk about lead tests. Um, but you know, it never hurts to check and have a little fun while doing that. So what I'm going to do here is that I pulled out both of my sharp collector series sets that I got last year, um, largely because I didn't have any 0.9 millimeter, uh, pencils that I knew what the lead contained within them was. And I definitely know that the lead contained in these 0.9 millimeter pencils, which I have no intention of breaking apart these sets at all. Um, I know for certain that the lead contained within these is no doubt Pentel high polymer lead. And so I'm going to take the lead out of these P2, P209 series pencils that are in each of these sets, and I'm going to fill them up with Kakuyo lead so that we can do a test. And so... Um, Here's the graphite set, which I really like because of these, you know, really deep colors. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put 2B uh, lead into the uh, P209 pencil here because <clears throat> it's the darkest out of all the graphite colored pencils. Um, and then I will put the HB.9 uh, millimeter lead into the classic yellow for this classic series um, collector's edition for Pentel Sharp. And this one, struggling a little bit with the box. I think I used this box in the current intro and I struggled with it in the video that I have on the intro as well. So, um, so get this sucker out. The foam on these collector sets really holds them in nicely, but that also means that if you're a person like me who doesn't really have nails, it can be a little challenge getting it out. Okay, so we'll just move this stuff out of the way. Um, now, 0.9 millimeter lead, I think generally runs darker than other lead types anyway. So what we're gonna do here first is we're just gonna do some writing with a uh, standard Pentel pencil using standard Pentel lead, the high polymer. And we'll use this as a point of comparison to the other leads that we'll be testing, the Kakuya lead. Um, I wanna make sure that I have a good eraser available. And so I happen to have a Pentel twist erase click on hand that has a decent eraser so that we can do an eraser test as well on this lead. So this is Pentel high polymer <clears throat> lead 0 0.9. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump all of the 0.9 millimeter lead out of both of these pencils and fill them with the leads of choice. And that's why I have this 0.9 millimeter Pentel lead case right here so we can save those for use later. And oops, Kabibble, gotta take this out first. Yoink. I don't know why I'm replacing that. Shouldn't do that. Okay, there we go. So both pencils, 0.9 millimeter lead has been 
removed. Uh, you might be wondering, why am I not doing this with my Kikuyo mechanical pencils? And that is a really good question. Well, the Kikuyo pencils are no doubt going to come with HB version of their lead. So I want to make sure that what we're actually doing here, we are affirming that we are replacing the lead that came in these packages with each of the pencils. And so the HB here, which, you know, one thing that I love about uh, stationary products that are manufactured in Japan is that they always have easy open features. You don't have to tear a package open. You can take this lead out and replace it into this plastic sleeve if you'd like. I don't do that. I just keep the, the lead, you know, as is. This is a really attractive case. I like the, uh, the angular nature of this case. Uh, square. So that's pretty cool. Um, so this lead, the HB, is going to go into the yellow mechanical pencil. And I think we'll probably just do two because uh, just a general tip for everybody in the audience, you put too many sticks of lead into the holding uh, body of the mechanical pencil, you risk getting jams. And I think that those jams are much, much less likely with 0.9 millimeter lead. But here we go, we're ready to go with HB. So we'll just leave that right there. And then the 2B. I prefer a darker lead, but the real question here is how much darker is the 2B going to be in 0.9? We're about to find out. All right, so we are ready to go. And we'll do these in order. Okay, so let's start here. Whoops, get this docked and set to go. Remember, all mechanical pen, many mechanical pencils are gravity feed mechanisms, meaning that gravity needs to pull the lead down so that it can be grabbed by the clutch. And then as you click, the clutch advances the lead down, the mechanism. So this is... Kokuyo HB 0 0.9 millimeter already seems darker than the Pentel high polymer lead. Okay, I uh, this is no doubt HB lead up here. I should have marked that up there. All right, and then let's try Kokuyo. Ooh, marked difference. 2B. 0 0.9 millimeter. Not only is it darker, and you know, I'm not really sure how well this is showing up on campus, uh, on campus, on canvas. So let's, <laughs> okay, I got this. I'm a professor at a college, so canvas is on my brain. Canvas is a learning management system. I don't know how well this is showing up on camera. And so I zoomed in a little bit, but there is a marked difference, not only between the Kokuyo HB lead and the Pentel, but also in the Kokuyo 2B uh, in the 0.9 millimeter. There's also a definite difference in the writing feel. And I'm going to be honest with you. I got a little tingly. Okay. When I was writing with the 2B granted my personal preference. Okay. So, um, I already like what I'm seeing with the distinction between the HB and the 2B, especially for 0.9 millimeter. Let's go ahead and do a little erasing. Let's, um, I don't know, let, let's um, erase the high, the HB, and the 2B. Um, and maybe we'll see, I don't know, like how many, how many strokes <laughs> is required to fully erase. Okay, so for this first one, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven. We'll go with seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so as one would expect for a darker lead, it takes a little bit, a uh, little bit more erasing in order to erase a darker lead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. So actually not too much of a difference, but you can see, I was trying to apply consistent pressure here. 
So if I were a person who was using the darker leads, I would apply more pressure and really scrub. But even then, this darker lead is very difficult to get out of a page. Now, this is just standard Office Depot paper, you know. So I don't know how this would react to a regular page. Um that's up for you to decide. So, you know, the benefit of maybe the Pentel high polymer lead in HB is that it's going to, it's going to result in a lot cleaner erasing. And the benefit of both of the Kukuya LEDs appears to be that you're going to be getting a darker color, even with the HB, but especially with the 2B. And if you want your pencil to write like a stick of butter being drawn across a hot pan, I would highly recommend that the, this Kukuya 2B lead. Um, high quality lead was a joy to write with. And so, um, I hope y'all enjoyed, uh, that short little video in which I am testing out, uh, Kikuyo leads and we'll go ahead and replace our Pentel mechanical pencils into their respective collector's boxes. And now I know that I have to be lead, uh, in each of these boxes. And uh, I have a lot more cool stuff to showcase on Clutch Situation coming up here soon. Uh, in particular, I have a new high-quality titanium manufactured mechanical pencil that was gifted to me by uh, my wonderful benefactor and best friend, DJ. Um, but one of my policies, quote unquote, here on the channel is that I always want to feature something that is of a reasonable cost before I showcase anything else that is expensive. Because, you know, if, if this channel just becomes, you know, really expensive, fancy mechanical pencils, then I'm shutting out a portion of the audience and I don't feel good about that at all. I always want, you know, everybody in here to be able to see products that they can potentially afford if mechanical pencils are your jam. So I hope you enjoyed this lead test using my collector series sets and the Kikuyo lead. I do recommend the Kikuyo lead to everybody. It is available on JetPens. And if you just go to JetPens and search for it, you will find it. So uh, thanks everybody for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.